So let's see today's lovely recipe of roasted hazelnut gooey fudge. It's super easy to make. Here I have 200 grams of milk chocolate compound that I'm using a double boiler to just melt it. You can also melt this in your microwave. Now here I've taken about 50 grams of hazelnut and I'm just going to roast them on a medium flame for about 2 minutes. Now I ordered these, uh, you know, online, they're easily available uh, or you can even try them in, you know, stores where you get dry fruits or the other places are Crawford Market, uh, they're easily available uh, nowadays. And once, uh, you know, they're nice and roasted, they're just going to turn off the flame and with the residue heat, just let them get nice and toasted and they look like this. And then I'm going to transfer them to a bowl to cool them up. Now once they're nice and cool, I'm just going to use a Ziploc bag and I'm going to add these uh, nuts into the bag and seal it up. Or if you have any plastic bag, just, you know, see that, ensure that the top is, you know, closed. And then you're just going to take a rolling pin and beat it gently till you get a coarse kind of powder. We don't want a very fine powder. And you can also leave some of the hazelnuts whole. just pound them like this with a rolling pin and then we're just going to transfer them to a bowl and set them aside so you can see some of them are whole and some of them have been crushed that's the consistency we're looking for now for this recipe, we are also going to be needing 100 grams of condensed milk. You can use the store-bought one, but I'm going to show you a very easy no-cook recipe of homemade uh, condensed milk. It's super, super simple, so keep watching. Now here I have one cup of milk powder. I'm going to add it to a bowl. To that, I'm going to add six tablespoons of powdered sugar. So I've just taken sugar and ground it to a fine powder in my mixer jar. And then just take six tablespoons of the powdered sugar add it to the milk powder now you're going to whisk the two together really well that is the milk powder and the powdered sugar till it mixes in really really well so i use this condensed milk for all my recipes i leave a link of all the recipes that i use this in like lemon uh, pie and many other recipes ice cream also now here i have four tablespoons of butter at room temperature So get in all that butter. So just four ingredients and you have your condensed milk ready in no time. So there's no cooking involved or anything. And then I'm just going to add a quarter cup of one fourth cup of hot water. So I've just microwaved the water or you can just boil it on your stove top. So it should be nice and piping hot and just add a little at a time and mix all the three ingredients really well together. Now it does help if you use a whisk because then you get a very smooth and lump free mixture. So I always make a batch of this condensed milk and store it in my refrigerator and whenever I need to make ice cream or any other kind of dessert I just use it. And I, go, I measured it on my measuring uh, scale you get exactly 275 grams of the mixture. So you can see how fast the, you know, it's become into this lovely smooth condensed milk consistency. And when you taste it, it tastes just like condensed milk. So you can see the consistency. It's so smooth. So that's it guys. Your condensed milk is all ready to use for any of your recipes. Now here I've just greased a tray with some butter using a silicone brush so that you evenly uh, grease it all over. Now our milk chocolate compound has become nice and smooth like this. We want this consistency. And now we're just going to add this condensed milk to it and stir it really well. Mix in the condensed milk really well with the melted chocolate. Now I would recommend that you use milk chocolate compound and not dark chocolate compound because then the entire taste will change. Now uh, you will see that the uh, mixture will instantly start to thicken once you add the condensed milk to the uh, melted chocolate compound. And now I'm going to add two heaped tablespoons of Nutella or you can use any hazelnut spread that you get in any brand. 
and then mix everything really well. Now this Nutella is a whole hazelnut base uh, spread and this just enhances the taste of this fudge. So try not to skip it out. And then we're going to add up or add our lovely uh, coarsely ground roasted hazelnuts. And it has to be a real generous amount because then, you know, every bite of it will have a lovely crunch of the hazelnut. So mix everything really well in together. And now we're just going to transfer our mixture to our greased cake tin. And just evenly spread it out so that it covers the entire cake tin. I've mentioned the dimensions of the cake tin. It's about one inch in thickness and it's a seven by seven uh, cake tin. You can also use the silicone ones, whatever you have at home. And now we're just going to cover it with some cling wrap. And we're going to refrigerate this for at least two hours. And after two hours, our fudge is all ready. You can see that it's nicely set. And now all you have to do is just cut it up into even size squares. And then using any kind of a flat uh, you know, object like this, you can just, or a spatula, just take out one piece. And once you take out one piece, then it's very easy to remove all the rest. And your lovely gooey fudge is all ready. Roasted hazelnut gooey fudge. Now, I generally like to store this in a glass container or a steel container in my refrigerator and it lasts for a really long time. The shelf life is really long. Of course, it's so delicious that it doesn't really last for more than a week. But, uh, you know, uh, concerning this shelf life, it lasts for at least a month or more in uh, the refrigerator in a nice, uh, you know, airtight steel container or glass container. So give this recipe a try and let me know how you like it. like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you'll get a message for the same so on that note I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think this is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.